Welcome back to Electrified Reviews. My name is Mitch, and this is the Yachty KS6 Pro, an electric scooter that takes urban mobility to new heights. With its powerful 800 peak watt motor, impressive climbing ability, and advanced braking system, this scooter is designed to offer an exhilarating and safe riding experience. Let's dive into the details and discover why the KS6 Pro is the ultimate choice for urban adventurers who also like scooters. The 500 watt motor was surprisingly powerful, you know, with a nice little zip off the line, but not too crazy to throw you off by any means. When you're gunning it, the motor wattage peaks around 800 watts, as we mentioned, and it has a top speed of right around 19 miles per hour, and it handles really well across the entire speed range. Pairing it with the app gives you some additional options as far as throwing into sports mode or changing the power recovery level. Now there are a few fun things in the app to dive into, but these two are probably my favorite features in it. The K6 Pro is equipped with a lithium battery, no coal here folks, and a capacity of 15.3 amp hours. With a rated range of 31 miles, you can confidently explore the city or embark on long rides without worrying about running out of power. Now we didn't do a full range test on our unit, but based on our riding, this does seem to be achievable in the right environment. If you've got a three mile commute, you could theoretically charge it up every weekend and be A-OK -okay on the work days. Now that's not best practice for lithium batteries, but it is a fun statistic nonetheless. The suspension system here is not something you want to throw off a jump, but it could make hopping a few curbs easily doable. The front suspension paired with a 10 inch tubeless tires work together to provide a smooth and comfortable ride. The maneuverability here was great. Honestly, it was, it was pretty fantastic. So if you're someone who is dodging potholes or potheads, you can whip around those inconveniences or friends, as you might call them. There's also a fun factor here. Riding the scooter around was just delightful. Is that a word you can use for electric scooters? Delightful? We'll use delightful. Safety is always a big thing that we touch on when we're looking at electric vehicles, and usually the main focus is on the braking system. The KS6 Pro delivers that in three different flavors. We've got a drum brake up front, a disc brake in the rear, and all of that paired up with the electric braking system. Considering that we're working with a lighter electric vehicle, only weighing in at around 45 pounds, makes this thing stop on a dime. You can check out the ride test to see the brakes in action. When it comes to the design, it's pretty eye-catching. It has a futuristic vibe with just an ounce of robustness. I recently rode around on the Unagi Voyager Model 1, and while I might give the overall aesthetics to the Unagi, the performance and robustness definitely go to the K6 Pro. Yachty brought more of a Dark Knight meets Star Wars vibe, whereas Unagi went for slightly more of a Tron vibe. The K6 Pro is nice to look at, and it seems to be really well designed and executed. When it comes to quality control, Yachty does some pretty cool things. They do like 20 different durability tests. They do vibration, falls, drop, shock, load carrying capacity, all that sort of stuff. Now, I'll leave those tests up to them, as I need to resell this thing after the review, so I'll just focus on the ride feel. If you have one of these bad boys and have thrown it down a flight of stairs, let us know how it went in the comments. As I mentioned, we're not going to be hurling this scooter around, but we are going to do some riding on the ride test. All right, guys, we were out for the ride test on the KS6 Pro, and I've got it paired with the app over here. Not a whole lot of things you can do here in the app, but there is some cool stuff. We can lock the scooter. See that it locks over on this side. We can unlock the scooter. It'll show us how much battery we've got. We got 35%. We can switch gears. We can put it in walk mode, drive mode, sports mode, and just all that sort of stuff. You can turn the headlight off here and on, which is pretty nice. And you can decide how much energy recovery you want. You want high energy recovery, or we'll put it on low here. So a couple things that you can do here in the app but let's go ahead and give these guys a pass and then we'll we'll get to it one thing i am kind of curious about actually go ahead and turn it off here oh howdy we go ahead down here we want to fold it up down here like shall get to lock in on this side, and then if you have your phone or something like that on that side, then you're good to go. It just folds off, off and to the, you know, the way we're looking at it, off and to the left. So, you pop that down, pop it back up. We got a nice robust locking system up front. A couple different locking points on it, which is nice. And there's no like shake or anything in it, which is, uh, yeah, another bonus for being a scooter. Now, if you don't want to use the app to change uh, the scooter, you don't have to, but we can uh, do it there. So I'm disconnected, get it to connect again. So it should show up and show us our battery percentage and it gives us the chance to uh, lock it. Something I'm interested in doing, let's go ahead and lock it. 
Okay, it's giving me a beep and it's fighting me from moving forward. Which is, yeah, that'd be impossible to, to ride, actually. So, I mean, it's not really going to stop me from, you know, picking it up or taking it somewhere. It's still beeping, but if I was going to try to ride away with it, then uh, I couldn't do that. Go ahead and unlock it. Got some pump up music right there. And let's, uh, let's ride. There we go. Go ahead and adjust this. Make sure we got a nice angle here. She wanna be able to see the road, but she also wanna see the scooter. You guys have seen this trail before. So right now we're cruising in sports mode. Gets to about uh, 20 miles per hour. Go ahead and do a braking test. Super easy on the braking test. Not, not too shabby. Now as far as maneuverability goes, this thing does have some good maneuverability it feels like. And the deck space is not the widest deck that we've tested. You know, my feet are about 10 and a half, 11. You can see it down there. So it's sticking out a little bit, but if you're somebody who just, you know, if you put your legs forward a little bit of, a, of an angle, not necessarily like you'd be sticking out to the side or anything like that. Now the grips here, they don't have any locking mechanism, but they're very hard to turn and they feel like they've got a pretty good grip. And I like this sort of, you know, squared off at the end vibe to it. So if you grip it here, it's harder because as you're, you know, pulling out, you're gripping it tighter. Got a little bell on here too, which is actually pretty loud uh, for a bell. Now we've seen quite a few bells come through the old testing place, but uh, that one is pretty nice. And we're up. Let's go ahead and pop off the curb here. Hey, it's pretty nice. I think my GoPro mount needs to be tightened up a little bit, but that actually felt pretty decent for only having suspension up in the front, really. That is pretty cool. Yeah, let me go ahead and tighten this up just in case we decide to get crazy later on. Oh yeah, I think it's a little, a little loose. All right, kickstand up. Let's roll. Now I like the the throttle thumb pad here. It's very tactile. It's also got a little bit of a what do you call it? a little little grippy on it. So very easy to. get a good feel for it. And now we're cruising. Cruising nice and easy. Go ahead and angle that up. Smidgen. What's the view looking like for you guys down there? You can see it? Kind of leaning back and squatting down a little bit. I do it for you guys. Trying to get the best, the best angle possible here. So let's go ahead and let's, let's swap it to, not walk mode, let's swap it to drive. And let's see how fast we can get up to speed here. So takeoff's still pretty decent, but it's definitely very chill. And it's in about right at about 50%. So it's gonna take us about nine, 10 miles per hour. Nothing crazy. And then as soon as we pop it up into sports, it'll it'll jump off the line a little bit harder and get us up to that 20 miles per hour. Because that's what we wanna do, folks. We wanna go 20 miles per hour, always. Get down, get low. Now we're cruising. And get up. I watch out. And we're cruising. Now we're gonna come up to a little bit of an incline here. Nothing crazy, but definitely is not a a flat section. We'll see if the motor struggles at all. You know, I dipped down a little bit, but that is not, that's not too bad. And we're cruising. Now go ahead and do another brake test here. Let's test those brakes out. Let's do just the back one. 
just the back one nice chill stop let's go ahead and do just the front one but let's lean back folks I don't want this to end up on uh, some fails video somewhere I'm gonna do just the front brake again nice easy stop and obviously when we use both brakes as we've already demonstrated get a nice a nice breakage going on there so all in all this thing feels you know it's maneuverable it has got enough braking power to feel you know very comfortable going that 20 miles per hour someone's gonna jump out in front of me it's like oh oh don't jump out in front of me brother you know and there you go you're safe in your life now as far as deck clearance goes it doesn't have a whole lot of deck clearance so jumping off of things going up on curbs that's not necessarily going to be the scooter strong suit but as you can tell if you do need to hop a curb and you know if you're hopping down like that is a pretty pretty doable feat here now something that is pretty surprising is how quiet the scooter is you know we've tested quite a few scooters and in general they tend to be a little bit louder but this one there really isn't anything when it's struggling to go up you know some of the inclines you, you can feel it start to kick in a little bit you hear it a little bit more but if i'm just going like this nothing I mean, i'm even turning my head you know we're going 16 17 and uh, not getting anything from the motor which is pretty darn sweet it feels like i'm kind of like a like a city ninja an urban ninja warrior Again, we need to do a stop here. Super easy. Now the real test. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go ahead and go down here about halfway. So we're hitting the brakes. Nice, easy, controlled descent here. Too easy. I have my doubts about it being able to go up the hill. But guys, that's why we come out here to this hill. Let's test it out. So let's go ahead to the training radiuses. Nice on the turning radius. And let's go ahead and hit the hill here. I mean, if you take the right angle, you can get up there, but uh, I tried to, tried to hold on to the last second there. Now, one of the ways that we can illustrate sort of the, the deck clearance is, you can see it right about here as it's going down over here getting pretty close but still not touching so not uh not horrible i'm very tempted to jump jump that but if i do i'm gonna need to take the camera off so i can get a good angle on it okay not too crazy it is also a blind corner and there's people coming down that way so i won't be doing that i don't think unless i had a spot or something so much harder to do a skid stop with the scooter at least with these scooters you know if uh if we had hydraulic brakes here in the rear i could probably probably get away with it now you see how that kid over there he's taking that that nice angle on it. I think if I take a nice angle on it we can we can be smart about it and get our get ourselves up here. More of an angle. Not quite. And we're back to cruising. I need somebody to send me one of those just just nasty off-road scooters, you know? Something that's got full suspension, designed to fly, that sort of thing. That's what I'm looking for. Because if we could get something like that, that would be pretty dope. You guys don't think I wouldn't take it off the jumps? You're wrong. I would take it off the jumps. We're jumping it left and right.
Now let's go ahead and pop down here. So this is the kind of curb where I mean, that's probably like a four inch drop. We're gonna hit the hit the side here. If you wanted to, you know, get up some speed and jump into it, you could. But that's only if we were coming from the other way, you know what I mean? So a little off-road test, just a nice, fairly flat back end stretch. Some roots and rocks and stuff to consider, but handling it real nice. So if you needed to take something like this, you could. It's definitely not the uh, main terrain for it, but because we've got that front suspension, we can get up in the air, we can do a little, a little hopping around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And this is the end of the road because there's a river over there. I don't know how I know that because I was just there. On a bike, of course. Now we're cruising. Yeah, again, it's just kind of eating a lot of those sticks and roots and all that sort of stuff up, which is nice. Just makes it a... Uh, fairly capable machine you know hills not his strong suit but if you are avoiding a lot of the hills but you need you to do something a little bit off-roady you could definitely get it done now we're back to cruising no reason to look at the phone you don't know why because there's nothing much on there 32 percent battery level seems like it's been there there for quite a while but I'm still, I still feel like I'm getting the same amount from the motor here. So we are just, uh, just cruising. Now it's hot today, so going faster means I'm getting more of Mother Nature's AC and it feels glorious. And it's so quiet. Literally, it's all like, I'm turning my head to the side like this, you know, so you can hear things better. Nothing. All I hear is just the, the tires rolling against the concrete. Super cool. Well, guys, I think that is going to do it for our review on the KS6 Pro. Uh, all in all, you know, this seems like it's a very capable city scooter, but, you know, as we demonstrated, if you got to take it off-road, some little dirt trails here or there, you can do it. I appreciate you guys hanging out with us, scooting around with us. Normally I say riding. I guess we're kind of riding, but, you know, scooting. But uh, we appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one. Make up the hill. Yes. And that's how you end a review. In summary, the Yachty KS6 Pro is an excellent addition to the world of electric scooters. With its powerful motor, excellent climbing ability, advanced braking system, and optimized design, it provides an exhilarating and safe riding experience. Pretty much the two things you want in a scooter. Is it fun? Is it exhilarating? Yes. Is it safe? Yes, there you go. That's that's what we're looking for in an electric scooter. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. I got a couple more miles to put on it before it goes to the shop to get sold, but we're currently working on our EV expansion for the website, so you may or may not be able to see all of the in-depth specs and some extra pictures over at electrifiedreviews.com. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.